everybody, this is Dema Masal on a very pleasant Monday morning. It's 17 degrees here in Southern British Columbia, which will make it 63 in American. And if you wonder why do I always look up here when I do that, it's because <laughs> that's where it tells me how to translate it into American. Because uh, <laughs> you know I'm not that smart. Uh, there are a couple of clouds, but they're high and they're small and they're fluffy. So really, it's like a picture postcard. It's looking good. I think it could be a hot one today. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so I hope you had a good weekend. That's really my number one wish for you all. I hope you had a great weekend and that life is treating you well. Oh. I forgot to take the detour. So apparently I'm going to be smiling at the construction workers today, for those of you who think they might be missing out on my radiant smile. <laughs> I thought that was so cute. Um, <clears throat> I had great fun yesterday, as some of you know. Um, I was playing with my barbecue. Oh, I haven't overshot it. No, I can still take the detour. Goody, goody. Um, helps if you know where you were first thing in the morning, right? <laughs> okay. Of course, you do understand I'll probably still be taking this after they've long finished the, uh, the construction. <laughs> it's quite a pleasant little dipsy doodle around the place. Quite enjoy it. So I had great fun playing with the barbecue yesterday, and um, there's no doubt about it, if I had to go and spend another 15 to 20 dollars of my life, those chef sheets, that's difficult for me to say, um, for my barbecue are just so clever. Last night I did kebabs on them, and they cooked beautifully as well, and what I liked about them was they cooked beautifully but didn't overcook. So the uh, meat was still tender. Yeah, it wasn't sort of grilled to a ridiculous point. So we were very happy. And what did I do with it? I did some fried rice with it, which tasted really good. I had seconds. Now, it's normally Monday that I tell you how I'm doing with the weight issue because I need to keep interested in that if I'm going to continue to work on it. Um, to my big surprise, when I think about what I ate this weekend, for example, as I said, yesterday I had two kebabs plus two helpings of <laughs> fried rice plus I had angel food cake with fruit and whipped cream and I don't know how I've managed it but I have managed to just about hold my weight which is a good thing very good thing because it means if I behave myself this week I could drop again yay I didn't drop last week I was feeling a bit down on myself for that but I think if I behave myself this week I could drop again yay 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 very exciting it's, it was very stressful for me yesterday because this whole business about going to VidCon, by today I had to give them 15 names of people I would like to meet at VidCon in terms of possibly getting into a signing. Well, owing to the fact that I am who I am, um, I find that very difficult because I really only know a handful and <laughs> I'm quite happy knowing that handful and so it was it was very uh, very sad for me and to try and do this and I had to call on a couple of viewers to help me going who do I need to meet <laughs> and then by the time I went to go and sign up half the names were missing off the list for some reason I don't know why that was 
so a bit frustrating so in the end I just sort of picked a few and had a quick look at their um, YouTube page and in one case I really liked what I saw until I watched a video and I went nah I, I think even I would have difficulty pretending I knew this person or, or that I cared about this person <laughs> so and I realized that it's not about me <coughs> it's about them and about you guys because you guys want to see who I meet I know that so we will see what we will see <laughs> and I'm also trying to think um, how I'm going to do this I think I'm probably going to take one t-shirt with me or get one t-shirt and then have everybody sign the t-shirt That's the only way I can think to do it and be... So, because you need something that's easy to carry around. You can't, you know... I, I watched people when I was at Vlogger Fair carrying around these huge, you know, poster things. And I'm going, yeah, you can't walk around a big event holding that all day long. I'd go insane. So, you know, a t-shirt that I can put back in my purse would be a much better idea. And I'm pretty sure that they will have a VidCon t-shirt. So, that's one of my decisions. <laughs> I was talking uh, to oops, Sophie, who looks after the social media side of Dear Mama Sal for me, and along with Erin and Ashley and the rest of them, advised me what I need to do next. But when I was talking to them, I talking to Sophie this weekend about something, um, one of the things that she mentioned was that she doesn't have time to watch the longer videos now that she's back at work. And I thought, gosh, that's really a good point, and really is part of the reason why I'm doing the shorter ones at the weekends, the, the little cooking ones or the little helpful hint ones. So I'm hoping that uh, you guys are enjoying that. I've just realized that I've been on the highway and they have put in a new law. Well, let me re restate that. I think they're reinforcing an old law on the highways this starting, I think last week sometime where anybody who's hogging a left lane is in for big time, big fangs. And you're going, there are going to be a lot of people paying a lot of money in the next coming weeks. Because there's two sorts of people in the world, those who believe they own the road and then those that know they do. <laughs> <laughs> Roadhogs. Now, who am I to judge? I have been known to be a left lane driver, as I am doing right now. Um, <clears throat> See, I, I work on it this way. You're meant to have the left hand lane if you're overtaking. Right? I think it's conservation of gas. <laughs> I mean, all this slowing down to get back into the lane and then speeding up to overtake again and slowing down to get back into the lane, you know, really, that must consume a lot more gas. <laughs> yeah, I can tell it's going to be one of those weeks for me. All right, let me think about this. Good news this week, for those of you who don't know, a couple of really good bits of news. Number one. Uh, Rick and Nana sold their house. Yay! Well, good news for her, but I guess bad news in a way because she's going to be packing like a demon from this point onwards. And that really is a full-time job. I really don't uh, envy her that job. 
the other good bit of news was for those of you who go that far back, uh, Jesse, Jess, um, came on, and we haven't seen Jessica Loveseed for many, 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 many months, and it was wonderful to see her, and she said how much she'd missed us, which was nice, um, and so it was really great to see another person from the original days and uh, I always find it so gratifying when people do come back and, and say they've missed us it's, it's always nice to know it's nice that we give people that sort of sense of enjoyment a lot of you commented on the um, flip-flop thing. I want to tell you something that's really amazing to me that, that I actually came up with that. I didn't, strangely enough, I didn't um, uh, find it somewhere else on YouTube. I, I actually was sitting there going, wait a minute, what do I need here? And I originally, as I think a lot of people had a piece of, um, what do you call it, uh, band-aid there. And then I thought, gosh, you know something? <laughs> a piece of straw would work really well. And then I was worried, would this straw itself cause the friction? And of course, was delighted to find out that it didn't. Yay. Like all things in life, you never know until you experiment. It was the same as experimenting on the chef sheets that I was talking about earlier with the barbecue. Um, I wondered, you know, could you do pancakes on it? Now, I'm not a big pancake person, so mine probably weren't the perfect pancakes, but the answer is yes, you can. And what made me think to do the outside circle first and then fill it, I don't know, but it worked. And that's what I love about doing experiments. Okay, uh, you know, I've just seen something you don't see every day. There's a guy who's walking with an prosthesis left leg. And walking incredibly well, I might add. But here's what stunned me. It wasn't that he was walking with a false leg. What stunned me is he's carrying another one. I don't know why that amused me. I'm going, yeah, anybody need a quick leg? Um, no, all right, seriously, think about this. Why could he be carrying it? And he's not looking like he's going to get it fixed or something. You know what I mean? He's looking like he's on a mission, on a long walk. Maybe that's exactly what he's doing. Maybe he's on a long walk because he had a big backpack on and that's going to worry me all day now. <laughs> Why would a guy be walking around with a spare leg in his hand? For those of you who have creative minds, come up with some ideas for me. <laughs> I don't know why that was so amusing, but it was. <laughs> now, of course, there's part of me that's you know, feeling really... grateful for the fact I don't have to carry my spare leg around with me. Um, so don't misunderstand me on that one, but it was just like it looked so weird. <laughs> huh. It's definitely going to blow my mind. So much so that it's totally um, throwing me off my game here. <laughs> My mind just went traveling. <laughs> Where was I? I have no idea. Okay, so, recapping the weekend, I went off to a barbecue and met some friends from way back, so that was good fun. And so basically, well, the only bad news was that the hockey team struggling a bit, 
we're into game six tonight and uh, it could be the last game uh, so definitely that's going to be the game I've got to watch whether I like it or not sort of thing <sighs> however Manon if you are around and if you hear this I did do quite a bit of tidying up in my bedroom and I call Manon on this one because she and I always challenge each other on our bedroom stuff <laughs> I think I you think the problem with my bedroom is I use it for too many reasons you know I do all my editing in there I do uh, my television is in there you know it's just like it's I live in that room and that's why it gets untidy much more easily never mind <laughs> it is what it is all right everybody I hope you have a great week and if you are new to listening to Dear Mama Sal, welcome. And uh, please subscribe for a little bit of wit and wisdom. Uh, if you check the see more below here, you will see all the links and also give you some links to some uh, different playlists and so forth that you can check us out. It gives you all the social media links and also uh, tells you a little bit about the broadcast. So, Having said that, I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful week. Remember to look after one another. And for all of you who do, thank you, as usual. I really appreciate it. This is Dear Mama Sal saying bye-bye for now.